Dear brothers and sisters, this is Christopher. In this video, I want to share with you a dream that I received this morning on the 16th of December 2018. And one part of the dream was that I saw a man and he murdered another man for almost nothing to just for the man he came to his property and then he was murdered by the man with a with a gun and i saw in that man's house who did that he he had a wife and his wife was basically held hostage she wasn't allowed outside of the house and the man uh, was very sick and very evil um then it showed me the man, he ran like a large business, and the man, um, he said at some point that he had been alive for hundreds of years or something like that. Um, so at that point, I was there and I was observing this man, and uh, I rebuked him. I said, um, the Lord rebuke you, Satan. And um, it wasn't really a man it was it was actually satan himself and i knew this for certain um when i rebuked him um he was uh, somewhat slighted um not completely enraged but um not happy and then he came against me to attack me um with some spiritual power um became this like big spiritual entity thing that came down to try to crush me and I just calmly held up my arm trusted in the Lord and the Lord stopped stopped his attack completely and this is what I said to him I knew it was Satan and I said um at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father when I said that, he was enraged, like very angry, and his attack continued, and he was trying to get through, but I just, um, and then I said with more conviction, I said to him, you will confess, and you will bow that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father, and as I said those words, he, um, he was defeated, and he fled with great haste and he ran away and um later um, i was speaking to some uh a man i'm not sure who he was but he told me that he saw satan um uh running away or he saw him like he saw that he had fled and um kind of it seemed like um what i said to him affected him so that's such an amazing verse. It's in Philippians 2, 10 to 11. Because no matter what happens, you know, if we do the jobs that the Lord wants us to do or whether we don't or no matter what happens, the Lord, his word will be fulfilled. He has won the victory everyone will bow to jesus everyone will confess that jesus christ is lord everyone in heaven on earth those under the earth that includes satan and the demons they will all acknowledge jesus christ as lord so that gives me great peace and it's it's like my favorite verse because of that it's the victory of the lord that his power and his might he will reign and he will be acknowledged by everyone one day and it will happen so i reminded satan of this and he fled so i share this with you so that you stand upon the victory that christ has won for us through the blood that he shed for us and through the flesh that he gave for us upon the cross, the victory that he brought to us, the salvation of God, and that we overcome by the blood of Christ and the word of our testimony.
So, give the word of your testimony, the salvation of Christ in your own life. And remember that you are saved and redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, by his sacrifice for your life. And that our Lord will reign as Lord, God and King forever and ever over the earth and over the new earth and heaven. So just wanted to share that before I get into this other dream. So earlier on in this night, um, the Lord was again reminding me about physical battles, um, that they are coming later and to be ready to defend myself and, um, yeah, to have a means of self-protection. And in my dreams, that was a sword. And um, people who just wanted to kill me were um, just murderers. There's going to be a lot of them around. They're killing for various reasons. They want the stuff that you have. They want to take over your place. They don't like you. They heard about who you are. Various reasons that evil people want to murder people. So the Lord was again showing me about the importance of being ready for physical battle. So, and um, there were some physical battles that occurred in this dream. I won't detail them in particular, but the Lord delivered me. The Lord strengthened me and the Lord allowed me to defeat my adversary. So I praise the Lord for that. And I take this stuff seriously. And um, people who speak against the word that I received from the Lord about defending yourself and your families, including your health and your children, they don't understand. Um, the Lord is not against you defending yourself and defending your family. So um, um, I just hope that you know that and you don't feel guilty if the time comes and you do need to protect your family's lives and protect your own life. And don't do it in your own strength, but seek the Lord to deliver you. And he can deliver you in the physical sense. He may deliver you in other means. Um, but always be seeking the Lord Jesus. And don't try to limit him and say, I can only do it in this way or I can only do it in that way. Biblically, the Lord has delivered his people in many different ways. And some of those ways has been through physical battle. So be aware of that. Okay, then the dream I received later. And... This was very interesting. So I was with my brother and we were driving, seemed like through a country town and I heard like air raid sirens. And then they stopped after a while and my brother told me to put the radio on and I put the radio on and there was some event had happened, something big had happened. So we went into this town and we were in the town and I walked into like what seemed like a, uh, like maybe um, like a bar or something that had just like somewhere where there was people and they were congregated and there was like a TV and they were watching the news report. I don't know what. And um, I didn't get to see the details of what was happening, but what I received and what I, what I understood was that there was a nuke, a nuclear weapon had struck or it had gone off in Italy or France or somewhere in Europe and the media was saying that it was Russia that Russia was behind it and someone said something about Trump is melting down and then someone said you can't say that we need to see how he responds so from that um, it showed to me that this seemed to be some event that occurred while Trump is in office. And the people who were watching the TV, most of them were quite concerned. And I, as soon as I understood what was happening, I started trying to go to tell some of these people, hey, um, you need to go and buy food because there's going to be food shortages. You need to go and buy food. And the f first man I spoke to, like I spoke to out of like all of the sincerity and love in my heart. I wanted this man to like take care of himself and his family. He, he scoffed, he blew me off so flippantly. Like 
it was it was really really bad and um and then i as i i said the f- there's going to be food shortages and they could last for some time and then i um and then someone next to me said they probably will continue um the food shortages won't stop something like that um so they were going to continue and continue so um and one of the guys was like just like people's attitudes were so wrong like they don't understand how serious it was even though it was something serious and um the guy was like oh food shortages like it's christmas as if like the stuff was you know the shelves were like less full or something and i said no not like that um anyway then so that was about that so i was discussing food shortages um, I saw something about this military group what looked like a militia. They were like organizing themselves and stuff. Um, yeah, and then I was... My sister was somewhere else. My brother was like with me. My family was somewhere else. It was... Um, pretty much and then like the scene changed and I was at my property in the country so I didn't hang around the city I left and I believe like seeing my family spread around was like trying to remind me what this is what I thought that we need to have meeting places for our families like so that they know in case of an emergency in case the power goes out in case the mobile phones aren't working that you will have a place where you will meet designated meeting place it might be at um, one of the family homes. It might be at a another property. It might be somewhere else. Um, so have something like that with your family and like let them know that if something happens like that, that we all need to meet here. And then, then you can go from there. So that was... Oh, I was also shown, as I was on my property, I was being shown to take steps to defend my property and that was yeah I won't go into how that was going to occur but the Lord was showing me clearly physical steps um, to be ready to defend my property because I would have my family there and yeah so the Lord's already told me about this I've shared this with you so that you don't feel guilty about um, protecting your own family and protecting your life. So, uh, because there's so many people trying to say that you're not allowed to do that according to the Bible and they're wrong. So then the Lord gave me this word. It was just very short. Be found ready in him. Um, so I think he said, be found ready in me. And I wrote it as be found ready in him. So be found ready. Um, Mentally, the Lord has warned us about the things that will come. Spiritually, repent of your sins. Stop willfully sinning. Ask the Lord to help you. Draw near to him. Pray to him. Read the word. All those things are spiritually getting ready. Forgive others. And physically ready. Get some food. Um... Don't act like these other people that when this this event happened, they were just didn't know what to do. They had no idea what to do. And they were just, um, they didn't even take it seriously, even though it was like some like big nuclear event. Uh, Also, I was saying to them, I was saying to them that um, the allies, I was calling the, like the United States and like Europe and, I guess the Western nations, I was calling them the allies for some reason in this dream. I said the allies will have to make a response. Otherwise, they will uh, lose any like credibility because like they said that it was Russia that did this. So um, if they did nothing and it was supposedly like a nuclear event, in Europe, then um, 
I don't think that would happen. So basically, I didn't see what the follow-up of events were. I didn't see what Trump was going to do. I didn't see any of that. But what I saw was there was a nuclear event in Italy, France. Those were what came up to me, but I wasn't certain on that. So it's something in Europe. And they, the media, the Western media, definitely, like our media, definitely said it was Russia. So Russia was responsible. So I don't know if it's like a dirty bomb. I don't know what it is, all right? Um, but it was going to lead to some like really big things and people weren't taking it seriously. And I was trying to tell them to get food. So I already had dreams about food shortages, rationing in the grocery stores. I've had so many dreams about prepping and preparing and having food and water. I've seen a room like filled with like medical supplies, food, water, blankets, clothing. These are things that like the Lord is warning many of his children to prepare for what's coming and do that according to your own financial ability in accordance with what the Lord guides you. So I've talked many times in my videos about how I believe physical preparation is important. And the Lord has led me to do that and to share about its importance. Okay, and then also one thing I felt led um, in this dream was like walk in the spirit, not the flesh, because there was a lot of people acting in the flesh they were like panicked. They they were panicked, but they didn't know what to do. They had no idea what to do because this was like totally beyond their imagination. Like they they just didn't conceive of this ever happening in their lives. So that's not how I think because the Lord has shown me a lot about these things before. And he has warned through many of his children about the times that are coming and he has given this to us in his word. So we have not been without warning. So that should go some distance to preparing us mentally and spiritually to walk in the spirit and walk in the peace of the Lord when these things are happening. So that was, a, I guess, a reminder to not get anxious and fearful and go into the flesh, but just trust in the Lord, do what he guides you to do in the time of calamity, in the time of difficulty, in the time of battle, whatever it is, go as you feel led by the Spirit of God, by Jesus Christ, follow his lead, and follow the Holy Spirit. So that was it. So I left the city areas, I went to my property, I was prepared to defend my property, and I want to share that. So I believe that something like this may be coming and that you should be ready and that I believe it's good to prepare in advance but even still there was when this event happened I was still trying to tell them to go get food and they just still wouldn't listen so um, people will do what they want one thing I had earlier in this night of dreams I had a number of dreams I was in like a dangerous place in the wilderness and there was holes in the ground and it was like they led into what seemed like, I don't know, like they, holes in the ground that led to like what seemed like lava down there or like hell or something. And, but I was in total peace walking through this stuff. It was like, I knew it wasn't dangerous to me. But then all these men came running over and a number of them just fell straight into the holes and the holes like suck them in and they went from my understanding they went straight to hell but this man this other man asian man he fell in and he was like halfway into the hole and i told him quickly i said you need to repent and ask god for forgiveness or you're gonna die and he said as the like the ground was like covering him he was like i won't and then he went straight down into hell so after this happened, I praised the Lord. I said, praise you, my Lord, for giving these people like extra chances, for giving these people the chances to accept you. Because even when this man was like basically fit for judgment, the Lord gave him one final chance to accept him and he refused. So 
he refused and the Lord's going to bring judgment. That's what he says in his word. He's going to bring judgment in flaming fire, taking vengeance on those who don't know God and who don't obey the gospel of Jesus Christ. Judgment of God begins at the household of God. So the Lord Jesus will bring judgment. And I was like, thought that was very positive, even though it wasn't good for these men. But the ones who fell straight in the holes, I believe, were the ones that were like not going to repent at all. And the Lord was destroying them as wicked. But that other man, even though he was he was evil, the Lord was going to give him one more chance. And I was the man to give him the word to repent. And he refused. And that was his last chance before hell. So... There will be a cutoff. There will be a time when the Lord's patience will run out with, with the wicked and the people who are in rebellion and do not want to play around with the Lord. He is a consuming fire. In righteousness, he makes judgment and war. His eyes are a flame of fire. Jesus Christ, the word of God, he will commit judgment. So... You don't want to be in rebellion against him. And you don't want to be in rebellion if you're his child. You don't want to be lukewarm. You don't want to be vomited out of his mouth. You don't want to be cast out of the vine of Christ. All the other things I talk about. You just don't want to... You don't want to live a life that is in rebellion against God. So you want to choose him and choose his salvation. And you want to walk in faith. That's all you need to do. Um... So the Lord has led me to give many warnings on that, and I have throughout my videos. So I just wanted to share this pretty significant dream that I believe was from the Lord. And yeah, some big event. And I believe it will lead to worse things. It, it didn't immediately go into like a war um, from my understanding, but... They were waiting to see how people responded. It was very early. It only had recently happened. I don't know how bad it was. I don't know. I don't know in what way, but I know it was like uh, nuclear. So, and it was in Europe. So, just um, be warned. Seek the Lord. Prepare. And as he told me, be found ready in him. May God bless you and your families. Your brother in Christ, Christopher.